This video is sponsored by Pet Life Radio, the number one pet podcast and radio network, featuring weekly pet-related talk shows hosted by the most well-known pet experts, authors, radio, and TV personalities in the world of animals and pets. PetLifeRadio.com. Let's talk pets. Hey guys, thank you so much for checking out another one of our videos. Uh, first of all, we want to apologize. We haven't posted lately. Had a couple of health issues, but we're back on track now. So uh, we figured why not start off with a sweet little puppy, uh, Angel, here. Um, it's May, so it's definitely puppy season. We've been seeing so many puppies lately. Uh, guys, again, the importance of uh, starting them off properly and, and introducing them to the grooming, uh, very important, as you've seen in some of our other videos. Uh, we're kind of uh, going slowly and being very patient, getting them used to the clippers. Uh, in this video, we're just going to kind of feature her, and um, we're going to go over some brush out techniques, uh, run the clippers, and again, just uh, what, what we've done before. But uh, each puppy is different, so uh, yep, stay tuned, and we're just going to get started right now. Okay, guys, so we're, we got her on the table. Um, this is her second time with us, so... Um, we're definitely safety is always a feature so we definitely are using our noose as usual and we're just going to start off with a uh, a brush out um, we're using our, our universal slicker brush and we're going to do as we talk about we're just going to start in the back legs and we're going to work our way up through the torso area and the head um, she did really really well for the first grooming um, it's not uncommon that sometimes they may not do as well for the second grooming, uh, although she's, <laughs> she's proving me wrong on that because she's already taking to the brush. And uh, But again, what, what we want to do is get the dogs used to the whole process. Um, so less is always more in the beginning. Um, she is a, a, a Lassipu. Hi, oh, sweetie. It's okay. So you can see that all she really wants to do here is kind of jump back into my arms, but we have to get the job done. So we'll just get her back onto the table and keep moving. Doing her front legs here. Now with these puppy coats, you know, you're going to find that the slicker brush goes through them very, very easily. Um, <clears throat> so but key here is don't let them get matted because uh, you don't want to have to deal with a puppy shave down right in the beginning. It's just a lot of repositioning and reassuring. Tell them how good they are. You're such a good girl. Oh, mama, you're such a good girl. <laughs> I don't want to over talk her though either because then they think it's playtime. Uh, but what we're doing is basically what we said. We're kind of Going through the back legs, work up the torso. Hey, Jokey Mama. Good girly. Oh, baby girl. Oh, it's okay. I know. You're so, you're so pretty. You are so pretty. It's a beautiful little puppy that this is. Hey, it's okay. Here, we'll turn you around. You want to face the camera? Okay, here. Face the camera. All right, and we're just going to do her little face here so I'm just kind of grabbing a little just to keep her face still I don't want to poke her in the eye or anything it's important I'm grabbing a little bit of fur here I'm not hurting her um, and it's brief so just to get this side of the face okay okay oh, okay okay and you know she pulls away so just you know I'm letting go I don't want to stay on it and then we're just gonna do the same thing on this side it's okay that that's all be real real careful with the corners of the brush by the eyes guys you know, if, you, if you're not comfortable doing it, uh, don't do it. Just going to lift the ear, get up in here like this, and then we're just going to kind of do the ear at the same time. Okay, baby. I think one of the most important things here, too, is to teach the owner how to do it um, because, you know, you doing it one time in, in a six week period isn't going to work but um, we did talk that over with them and they've done a phenomenal job keeping her brushed out okay mama here we go and we're going to lift you oh good girl and we just do her belly area so you know that that's about it i mean again she's in great shape so 
there wasn't much to do there. Uh, oh, baby. Mwah. Oh my God, I, I'm like in love with this dog, guys. You have no idea. We're gonna do a little bit of under the eye work here. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of combing this out and I wanna be real careful and hold them quick and see what she lets me do. So positioning is everything. It's okay, mama, there you go. Oh, good girl, good girl. And you know, if I feel her pulling away, we're gonna, you know, kind of just stop. Stay, mama, it's okay, it's okay. Good girl, good girl, stay, stay. A couple of snips here and there, just like that. And then give her a little break. A lot of times when you do it, they really like that they can see better. And they understand it. Like they're kind of saying, hey, you know, when he does that, I can, <laughs> I can see better. Good girl. It's just a lot of resetting, <laughs> you know. <laughs> you kind of let them have their way, but then you kind of have to get them back into, <laughs> back into uh, groom, groom mode. Okay, stay, 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 stay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Here, just a little more, a little more. I want to be real careful not to, not to catch the, the eye. Hey, stay, 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 stay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Stay. There you go, baby girl. That's all. That's all I wanted to do. We'll get the rest out later after the bath. But I uh, just wanted to get some of those little little uh, gorillas. I call them gorillas. Out away from the eye. You good girl. Okay, mama. Come on. So we're going to continue with her prep. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're just going to kind of clipper her, her butt. Just doing a 10 blade on her butt. We're going side to side. Clear that out. Just like that. Good girly. Oh, good girl. Okay. And I'm just gonna switch blades real quick. I don't like using um, the same blade on the butt area anywhere else. Um, it's important that you keep your blades nice and clean and disinfected. So I'm just going to do her little vulva. Good girl. Real quick. And I'm going to do a little sanitary clip on her belly. Okay. Good girl. Oh, good girl. And just trying to keep everything nice and short and sweet. Um, they're puppies, guys, so you can't stay on it too long. Uh, you got to be real brief with things. Okay, sweetheart, here, I'm just going to turn you this way. Good girl. This dog is exceptionally accepting. Go over her pads. I'm using a, a 15 blade here. And as time goes on, you know, I might use like a, a 30 blade, but I don't want to uh, dig too hard or hurt them in any way. So I'm just kind of using a 15 blade here. And everything's new to them. So uh, again, you have to understand that, you know, it's been about two months and maybe two or three months that this dog has been taken away from its its mom and its siblings and so everything is new. So everything is trust. Okay. Good girl. sweetie and safety is always key here guys you always want to keep a hand on the puppy um, you don't want them jumping off the table or anything like that uh, you always want to keep a hand on them um, so that they're not falling off the table uh, keep the noose on 
keep keep the noose taunt enough where God forbid they do fall off the table you can catch them you're not you're not hurting them in any way um, you don't want them falling but just by being next to them and keeping your hands on them and really just staying focused on their movement is important um, if you and, and you have to anticipate when you're dealing with puppies um, if you see them moving in a certain direction you know you you position yourself and make sure that they're not falling off the table or anything okay guys so uh, as we mentioned uh, this is her second grooming and they wanted a little bit of a haircut so what we're gonna do here is just do a little snap-on work um, using a this is I just got these snap-on combs uh, this is a what is this this is a one-half um, snap-on comb this is a uh, and this and I just ordered these they're really good snap-on combs so what we're doing is we're just kind of just gonna skim some hair off uh, I don't want to give her like a major haircut just yet but what we're doing is just kind of skimming and they're gonna change color too with this first haircut because you see all these black ends as you as you trim them down and she's gonna look more blonde but they did want a little bit of a haircut so we're gonna try to achieve that today down her leg over here see all this hair right here to do like we always talk about just get some angulation going and to kind of just do this little scoop right here like that you know and you get that little back leg feature <laughs> and I like I like clipping inside the legs here as well because when they pee they get all that urine stuck right in this crotch area so clean that out this way they stay cleaner and I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side here kind of skimming with this snap-on comb too it's hard to get an even cut when you're skimming uh, but it comes out comes out decent for a puppy cut and just do your angulation here like right in here come right down and you're blending down here and take this little tuck up area down gives them a cute look and again on this side we just kind of do this little little scoop she's doing amazing for a puppy again, this is her second time and dogs do vary guys some some you, you won't always get this um, oh baby, oh baby, just kind of come up in here, the intro came out, come, 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 I know, I know, da, 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 da. stay, 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 okay, good girl, if you can just position them quick enough to get a couple of strokes in, you're good, you know? You can't expect much you know she's very jumpy she just wants me kind of off of her she wants to play what she wants to do it's not really up for a grooming um, just again something that has to be done um, you, know, you have to imagine that the owners are just always playing with her so that's what she's used to she's used to playtime because they're having a blast so now you throw a grooming at them and they're like, hey, what the heck is this, you know? I don't, I'm not playing, you guys aren't playing with me. Um, and again, if we keep everything brief and get some grooming in, and then we play with her. And it's, that's just called positive reinforcement, and that's what we do. Uh, I don't believe in forcing the issue on a dog at all. You'll just scare them out of the grooming completely. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Come here. Um, so never, never force the issue. If you have a puppy that's just not taking to it, try again another time. Um, good girl. Oh, good girl. Just kind of doing a little, 
little snips on her face just getting her used to it and being that she wants to jump up I'll let her jump up and we'll grab a different area you know okay baby girl you're so good look at you look at you <laughs> you just grab it on that's all you want to do you just want to kiss and hug is that what you want to do okay oh you're a good girl you're such a good girl i love you i love you all right you know what guys this is what we're gonna do we're gonna call it here um because uh she's she's kind of wants wants it to be over uh so what we're gonna do is uh we're <laughs> we're gonna get her in the tub and get her bathed and we're gonna fluff dry her and then we're gonna finish her up but we just wanted to show you once again um a little puppy intro grooming and again she's doing so good with it obviously uh but yeah just uh guys work slowly with them work methodically be careful uh don't throw too much at them again we just kept this really really short and sweet for her uh, guys thank you so much for tuning in we really really appreciate it please like share and subscribe like us on facebook instagram twitter check out our radio show it's called groomer humor we'll leave that link down below uh, guys thank you once again on behalf of anthony and i for tuning in thank you